In a world with so much smart technology, it's amazing how dumb some people can be. Now, do you wanna know what else is kinda dumb? Not protecting yourself from those who want to do you? Lots of harm. So let's take a second and look at some of the most common security practices for protecting you and your smart devices. Those tactics would work, but what we need are some more viable options to protect your company and its smart devices. Now, in the business culture of today, employers are turning a lot more to the needs of the employee. And with the internet of things, it's becoming a lot more plausible. With smart TVs, smartphones, tablets, laptops, work environments are becoming a lot more enjoyable but also a lot more effective. But with this increased enjoyment and effectiveness, there comes increased vulnerabilities. So today, we wanna to focus on the vulnerability of a smart TV in the work environment. Here we have the interface of a Roku smart TV. And Roku smart TVs are very popular in the marketplace today and within businesses and companies. Now, why we chose a smart Roku TV is because they were the first platform where significant security vulnerabilities were discovered, allowing malicious third-party access to the network, the smart TV, and content. So we're going to show you some quick settings that you can change to allow your smart TV to be more protected. So head to the settings option, click that, head down to the systems option, click that, then again, you're gonna to have to head down to the advanced system settings. It's buried pretty deep in here. And here we're gonna make most of our changes. So if you head to control by mobile apps, you're gonna see that network access through mobile apps is the default setting, which allows anybody on the mobile app to control your TV. Now, that is obviously not secure and it's the default setting. So what we need to do is change that to permissive. It's going to allow only those who have permission and have been authenticated by both the TV network and the app to make sure that they can control and make changes on the TV. So we're gonna head back out to advanced system settings and here on the device connect, you can either enable or disable this. If you disable this, it secures your TV more than almost anything else you can do. However, it does disable certain functionality of the TV that makes smart TVs awesome. So we would recommend for a work environment to leave that enabled so that people can enjoy the smart TV. But what you can do instead is head back to your system and then your settings, go to network, and here make sure that you are on the secured company network. No open networks that will form a back door into the network. So what you need to do is ensure that you're on that secured company Wi-Fi and make sure that that network and the Wi-Fi has a password, a password that's strong. So use a passphrase, at least 14 characters, to make sure that the router is protected from any malicious access. And with these settings changed, your smart TV will be ready to go and safe for the work environment. Now these simple controls are going to go a long way to protect you and your company from the bad guys.